Hi folks, and welcome to Shake Happens. Now from the opening of this video, as you could tell, I was filling a bucket with some wild bird seed and filling one of our feeders. Every winter we always buy three or four bags of bird seed and fill that feeder and a couple others just to help the birds out a little bit through the hard winter months. And quite frankly, we really enjoy watching them. As you can see, winter is finally here in Northwest Ohio. <clears throat> it's going to get bitterly cold here, uh, at least to us. I think we're going to have highs around 10, 12 degrees and lows around zero for the next week. Now, in line with keeping the bird feeders filled through the winter months, I am going to go out and continue to dump some corn out by the deer blind. Uh, our season, deer season here, wraps up uh, tomorrow, I believe. I'm done hunting and I'll get into that here in a minute, but I do want to continue to dump corn out there for them, to continue to check the trail cam I have by that corn, and I also want to sit in the blind over the next month with the camera. Uh, it's a great vantage point and I really would like to get some more wildlife footage, and this is a wonderful opportunity to do it. So I had just mentioned that my deer season is wrapped up here in Ohio. I was fortunate enough the other day to get a shot at a deer. He wasn't the big guy, but the end result uh, was just as happy. So this morning a friend of mine came over and we processed this deer. And I just said to myself, "That's I'm good. We'll wait and see what next year holds on getting something with headgear. Uh, I did film this hunt. It was a great hunt. The weather, I mean, the snow is really coming down. But it was just a treat to be out there. And to have the camera gear with me and film it, all the better. And I hope to have that video posted maybe Friday. Hopefully here in the next, I don't know, four or five days, I will be on the ice filming some fishing videos. And like I said before, hopefully a catch and cook. Winter finally decided to show up here. And I want to take advantage of it while it's making some good ice. I have some ponds out back which I can certainly fish, but right down the road here, not more than a mile, is a public hunting area with a 40 acre lake. And when I do get the opportunity to ice fish that, uh, I do pretty good on bluegill and crappie. And that'll be my target when I go over there. As a matter of fact, let's go over there now and I'll show you the lake I'm talking about. So this is the lake that I'll be targeting when I can get out on the ice. It does look like there's some tracks out here. I, I'm sure some die-hard fishermen have probably already augured a few holes. Me, I want just a few more days of this frigid temperature we're going to get to thicken this up to about six, seven inches of ice. Then I'll feel comfortable being out here with my equipment in the shanty. And what I'll be after here is crappie and bluegill. They have a possession limit of 10, and I think they got a slot limit on bass too, but I'm not here for the bass, I'm after panfish. So hopefully here in the next week, I'll be out on this lake, catching some panfish and filming it. And speaking of fishing, I would like to take a moment here to congratulate Randy and his two boys, Alex and Ryan, over at Father and Sons Fishing for just reaching 1,000 subscribers on their channel. Congrats, guys. It's getting cold here, and I'm underdressed. We need to get back to the barn. And I think that's going to about wrap it up for this video. Thanks for joining me here today on Chick Happens, and until next time, cheers.